All right, everyone, welcome to a SNAP uh, short feature introduction. Uh, and I wanted to show a feature that we introduced fairly recently uh, that works on any variadic input in SNAP. So when we say variadic input or, or a variadic argument, what we mean are blocks that have uh, the ability to accept an, uh, any number of, of inputs. So like this list block here, I can keep clicking left and right uh, to uh, add or remove uh, inputs to my list as necessary. But what is a new feature now is if I right click on the middle of that input slot, I can go ahead and uh, delete or insert uh, inputs as, uh, as necessary. So I can just delete this. Let's say I want to add a city at the beginning of my list. In this case, let's say Barcelona. then uh, we can add that to the beginning of our list. And now I have a list with items in the right order. Of course, anywhere in Snap that we find uh, these little arrowheads, uh, we can uh, go through and insert and delete uh, variables uh, and, and inputs from, from the uh, middle of our list. Uh, I'll just call out one other really useful spot right here, which is our script variables block. So you can add uh, as many script variables as you need. And sometimes you'll refactor code and realize that you no longer need the first variable uh, that, that you created. And so even here, uh, because it is a block which accepts multiple arguments, I can just go ahead and say delete variable. And in that case still, uh, what, what Snap will do is it will remove that from our list. So list script variables, uh, the the addition and multiplication blocks, the join block, anywhere in Snap, including your custom blocks that you use this pattern, you'll be able to uh, take advantage of these new features. So I hope that's a helpful tip, and uh, uh, we'll see you in uh, some future videos. Thanks, everyone.